So I thought this was fairly interesting for a, you know, a few different reasons, but mainly because, you know, the Command Zone is a very left-leaning organization on YouTube. Uh, you can tell. Uh, I don't have to explain this to you. Otherwise, I myself would be canceled. But they posted a job for $18 a hour, and people just didn't have it. So on both Reddit and Twitter, they were absolutely annihilating uh, the Command Zone. So earlier today, Command Zone posted the picture job ad on their Twitter account, hiring a Los Angeles-based production assistant at $18 an hour. Given that the living wage in LA is well above $18 an hour, $26 an hour according to uh, MIT, reaction has been, let's say, not great. And the command zone has now taken down their job ad on Twitter. $18 for an entry-level position that you don't intend to train for is insulting, especially in LA. Who do you want? Who do you expect can afford to work for you? Wanting these skills from entry-level candidates sounds like you want to exploit talent you didn't raise up or invest in. $18 in Los Angeles in this economy, yeah, folks would apply if it was a sustainable wage, say $30 plus an hour in LA. Also forcing whoever applies to basically show up to LA, yeah, not a smart move, fellas. As a PM in Orlando, I wouldn't dare offer as low as $18 for a PA position, and our minimal wage is way lower than Los Angeles. I highly re recommend reevaluating whether or not you can actually afford a PA, or if you can, divvy up the task between your current crew because the rate is insulting. I think you can't afford a production assistant. I recommend other employees take on these responsibilities if you aren't able to raise the wage to something reasonable for Los Angeles. This is a terrible opportunity. You deserve more than that. Command cast seems willing to pay you. Don't let them take advantage of you. You will make more money working in fast food service, $20 an hour. This is below entry level for similar production assistance in Los Angeles. And the advertisement is, if you love Magic the Gathering and are interested in joining the Command Zone team as a production assistant, uh, we are hiring Join Us. Now, the community does not seem to be very happy that someone as left-leaning as the Command Zone is acting and behaving in this way because obviously they're expecting, you know, livable, at the very least, fast food wages, right? I mean, come on, like you can at least afford what McDonald's is paying these guys, right? And McDonald's truly is entry level and they will train you to do the McDonald's job. Now you might be like, oh, well, you know, I'm very passionate. Well, Magic the Gathering for the longest time has abused people who are passionate about their games. I look at Christine Sprankle, which no one even mentions no more. And she was the main cosplayer of, and she was the main marketing material. Her cosplay was the main marketing material for... Uh, the largest magic event, uh, event at the time, which was held in Las Vegas. They didn't pay no dime. Uh, they didn't pay a whole dime. Sprankle started playing magic in 2010 and made her first notable appearance as Elspeth Knight Errant during the 2011 World Championships. In November 2017, Sprankle tweeted that she was unloading her Magic the Gathering costumes and cosplay gear in the wake of months of harassment by controversial YouTuber who posted degrading videos of her and other cosplayers. That was uh, Jeremy Hambly. Uh, and I, I think that was taken out of context, really. As a reaction, Wizard Coast released a statement condemning harassment community. Uh, they still didn't pay her, by the way. So they didn't release a statement saying, hey, I want to pay you for all the work that you've done to make magic what it is today. And the, specifically the... Um, yeah, they also started an investigation, which eventually led to the permanent ban of the YouTuber by the company. The YouTuber is Jeremy Hambly from The Quarterling, by the way. In April 2019, Sprankle returned to the magic scene after getting spied by War Spark trailer. Um, pretty interesting. I don't think she's part of the community anymore. Uh, let, let me see. Maybe she doesn't seem to have that many followers on... Oh, it's a different Christine and Sprankles. 
maybe she changed her name. I, I'm not sure, but I don't think um, she is. Uh, maybe she's on TikTok now, but who knows, right? But anyway, they didn't pay her a dime, man. They used her face on the website. They used the face on the pamphlets, promotional materials. They didn't pay. Like, and there's stories at Wizards of the Coast how they just underpaid developers and stuff. Because, like, hey, you should be grateful enough just because you're working on something you love. That's not right, guys. When, you, when you're passionate and you do something you love, you actually get paid more. You're like, oh, how do you know that? Because that's what I do for a living. I own my own business. Like, duh, guys. Like, why would we take less money? So if you're going to work more hours and you're going to work harder, why the hell would we take less money? It ain't make no sense, guys. Like, think about this. Why would you take less money to work harder? You, you're not going to. Um, so this uh, very liberal group of individuals, am I surprised that they're paying $18 when fast food is paying? No, 20 no, they just invested a shit ton of money in a new production facility. They raised and asked for donations every episode. They have great sponsors, right? I mean, there is a lot of money. They're, make, they're making a shit ton of money, guys. I want you to know that they're not poor. This Jimmy guy, he's like an actor or something. He ain't poor. This guy is not homeless, guys. Yeah, they are, um, what's it called? Um, they... They uh, moved. They just moved to a new production facility. They make one video a week. Why do they need so many people? Um, why do they need so many people? It doesn't make sense. Their podcast sucks. Like I get it. Hey man, like you grow and you grow, and you grow. Um, but it's it's pretty ugly. You know, it's pretty ugly, right? Yeah, I appreciate the content. My blind spot is not due to being on Twitter anymore. So whatever they're doing on Twitter, I don't really understand why they need 20 employees for either, to be honest. Most of their videos are just game nights or the CZ podcast, right? When all your leadership needs an assistant, you end up doubling your payroll very quickly. I'm a business owner. I get it. There's a ton of overhead in producing a video. But if you're moving from McMansion to a full-blown studio and have the time to wax soliloquies with the professor about channel ownership and expansion don't put up an ad for poverty wage assistant positions it's poor optics it speaks towards where funds are allocated within the company uh, man that professor talk was not what i expected especially from the professor it was such a softball talk with each other i suppose content creators are being nice with each other so no wars are started or no one body is the arc enemy in that case. They're real talk. They mostly talk about growing pains and real estate lawsuits, but nothing truly my bad. When, what I was hoping for was an apology for their bad takes on controversial videos. Ah, interesting. Command zones are allowed to be Wizard of Coast shills, but when they spoke up and said companies need to make cuts and people lose their jobs all the time, am I right? Is a bad take. Yikes. Yikes. Um, big yikes. Yeah, this does not look great. Funnily, I re regularly remember from the podcast. So anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I find it hilarious. They're paying $18 an hour. Not hilarious for whoever takes the job. Just hilarious that they're paying under minimal wage for uh, fast food workers.